Right now, there is a major push in our state to make sure everyone is counted in the 2020 U.S. Census. The once-in-a-decade headcount determines where federal dollars go for states and communities to fund services like fire departments, schools, and hospitals. Several organizations around the state are working hard to make sure everyone is counted. Jason Black with the Connecticut Community Renewal Team joined us today to highlight how our state is doing so far with the census response rate. Statewide, it's almost 70 percent, and that's fantastic, right? That's higher than the national average. Uh, the national average is somewhere in the 60 percent range. But here's the problem. Hartford, as an example, uh, is one of the worst major cities in the entire country for participation in the census right now. Its response rate, as of uh, almost two weeks ago, was about 45 percent. Um, I'm hoping it's started to creep up since then. We've been working very hard. We know a lot of other people have. The city of Hartford, Lieutenant Governor Susan Bicewitz, she's been working very, very hard on this as well. Um, and so we're trying to do all that we can to get the word out and make sure people know that it's so important that you get counted. The, the budget decisions, again, it affects things like education and health care and things like SNAP benefits and energy assistance here in the state, um, things that we all need and rely upon. And also very important to highlight, it determines how many seats in Congress each state gets. That, of course, has a direct impact on the Electoral College and how many votes our state gets. For instance, our state has seven electoral votes because we have five representatives and two senators. Each state is guaranteed three votes and one U.S. representative seat and two senators. We asked him why some people may not fill out the census. There are certainly individuals who they, they may be wary of the census for one reason or another. They think that it's going to be used against them for some reason. But one of the things that I think people need to understand is that it's, it's not intended to be a gotcha. Right. This, there's not the reason to do the census. Um, and they've made it so easy now because you can do it all online. You will find there are people who are known as enumerators. Those are the people who go door to door and they help you to fill out the census automatically. You know, they can get, do it right there with you with a little tablet computer. Uh, but you can do it online yourself. If you have computer access and Internet access, go to 2020census.gov. It'll take you maybe five minutes. It's one uh, response per household. Right. You want to make sure that you're counting everyone who lives within your home. Uh, it can be done in English and it's also available in 12 other languages, which is pretty cool. An important note for everyone, the deadline to complete the census has been moved up to September 30th. It had been originally at the end of October. The announcement was made earlier this month. The federal government said they needed more time to complete the data collection and appointment counts by the December 31st deadline. And we know we are throwing a lot of information at you. If you are watching and have not completed the census or need help filling this out, CRT is teaming up with Christmas Wish CT to help spread the the word. They are hosting several events this month to help people complete the census. Here are just a few of them and you can participate in. Two events that are coming up. One is this coming Tuesday, the 18th from 2 to 4 p.m. We will be at the Hartford Public Library. The Albany Avenue branch will be in the back in their parking area. We're going to have free ice cream for everyone that shows up, kids, adults, whoever. Everyone can have free ice cream. It's our treat from CRT. Uh, but then while you're there, if you have not yet filled out the census, please do so. Uh, Lieutenant Governor Bicewitz will be there with us at that event. The library is giving free books to kids that day, which is going to be amazing. And then on Friday, the 21st from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. We will be at the Raymond Library in East Hartford. Again, free ice cream for everybody that comes out. We will have census enumerators there once again to help you fill out the 2020 census. Make sure everyone gets counted. And if you want to see more in the census effort, just head to our website, fox61.com.